This is Marquois hosting Deep Cuts, a musical journey. The premise of this show is to introduce you to some of my favorite bands and their deep catalog of songs that you will never hear on the radio because the radio sucks. Except for Prop Time. Thank you, Billy. Except for this one station, I grew up in Chicago, WXRT 93.1, and probably streaming and doing a whole bunch of other things that I don't even know. I'm 55. I don't know a whole lot of stuff. This show is brought to you by The Bald Man vs. Captain Comeover. What a great book that is. Thank you. I'm here with my producer... Billy and his girlfriend, Darla. And they're back in South Florida because base, baseball's over and uh, football, I don't know, the Bears, uh, I don't know. We'll see about them. We're talking music today. I am in between two palms, not two ferns like Zach Greffles and Lewis. And the palms generally attack me. So anyway, we're here discussing today one of my favorite bands who I've seen twice in concert. First time was out uh, in Sacramento, California, and I was actually uh, security at this concert. It was Aerosmith. Tell me Aerosmith's not a great band that's been around forever. And the radio only plays like one or two of their songs. I'm here to introduce a little bit more of their music. Opening that night was Dokken. Dokken, another really good band. Loved their music. Had all of their CDs. CDs. Billy. Anyway, Dokken opened, Aerosmith. And the first song that he sang, Steven Tyler, the band Toys in the Attic. That's the song they opened with. Uh, during the uh, whole stint of watching this, Joey Kramer, the drummer of Aerosmith, and I was standing right near the stage because I was security, held a drumstick, threw it right at me. Looked me in the eye, threw it right at me. Drumstick, said Joey Kramer on it. Boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Second time I saw Aerosmith was at Poplar Creek in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, a venue I wish, wish was still there. It was a great venue. I've seen so many concerts there. Great concert. This time it was Guns N' Roses and Aerosmith. So it's kind of a double bill. This was during Guns N' Roses' first album, which obviously skyrocketed to forever ever land so and I remember uh, sitting there and the, the whole place Poplar Creek was just packed and they were there to see also Guns N' Roses so uh, the opening band so to speak the place was packed and Axl Rose stood out on stage and said because remember this was you know the first part of their career where it just went Phew! He said, I have never, ever played between, or between, between. I have never played before this many people, ever. So he was a little nervous. They did good. Aerosmith came on afterwards. Aerosmith is Aerosmith. They're good all the time. So, that being said, the album I'm going to introduce you to is, of course... I mentioned it earlier. Toys in the Attic. Great album. Uh, songs on there. I mean, there's some radio songs on there, of course, but one of my favorite songs is Toys in the Attic. Toys, toys, toys in the attic. Toys, toys, toys. Billy in the attic. So sing along with me. Anyway, there's some other gems on there that you'll never hear on the radio. No more and no more. No more and no more. Is 
that's a good song. Anyway, one of my favorite songs by uh, Aerosmith, yeah, I think it's on uh, the album Gems, is Rats in the Cellar. It's like garage band stuff, which I love. Very cool. So that's my uh, deep cuts of the week, Aerosmith. And like I said, I actually got to see him in concert twice, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, tune in next time to Deep Cuts. I already have the band picked out. Anyway, on behalf of my producer, Billy, and his girlfriend, Darla, I am Mark Qua hosting Deep Cuts, a musical journey. And of course, how now, brown cow, how now, brown cow, and... I hear you clucking big chicken and scene. And of course, if you need to find me, I will be where, Billy? In a van down by the river. Yeah, you got to find me a van. Anyway, have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving, which is coming up this week. Go fight with your family. <laughs>